What's up Fit Pro? Right now I'm feeling a little bit of the imposter and comparison syndrome. So I'm just kind of really trying to just sit there and distract myself and not get the things I need to get done in my fitness coaching business. So do you feel me on that? Have you ever had that um, realization and that just that thought of just feeling like an imposter in the comparison syndrome in your fitness coaching business? If so, I'm here to show you how to overcome that. Let's go to the whiteboard. All right, so how do we overcome imposter and comparison syndrome in our fitness coaching business? Let's kick this off. The first thing I wanna start with is imperfect action. So putting out your A plus work and your B plus work. So what do I mean by that, right? So again, Everybody wants to put out their A plus work. Everybody wants to sit there and have their work be polished, their videos, their content, the copywriting, everything to where, again, if you think about that too much, it's gonna cause paralysis by over analysis. You will never sit there and put that out because you're quote unquote a perfectionist and you can't go down that route. You can't do that because again, you will never ever move the needle forward. So focus on putting your B plus work out there and test it out. And then from there, you can always improve upon that and go up to your A plus work. The second thing to overcome imposter syndrome and comparison syndrome is the market is too saturated. Oh, I could do a whole video on this because I've heard this over and over and over and literally it's just ridiculous because again, the market is not saturated. Everyone says that in every single industry, but the thing is, as a personal trainer, a fitness professional, people are buying coaches, not coaching. Again, people are buying coaches, not coaching. They're buying you. So there is plenty to go around because you have your own personal story, your own personal superpowers, and how you sit there and deliver that content when it comes to exercise, nutrition, accountability, hope, the whole thing, right? So again, please, Get that false belief out of your head that the market is too saturated. You have every single right and every single you know power in you to get there and serve these clients. There's so much to go around. So again, reframe your mind to sit, to sit there and think that, that you're not an imposter. The other thing is, let's talk about reframing your mindset to cheer on your competitors, right? So again, this is something I struggled with early on as an entrepreneur. I, I'm guilty of it, but you have to really sit there and think positive, put good, positive energy out to the universe because the universe will repay you in good, good ways. So whenever you think that you have competitors, again, reframe your mind to think of that as like they are actually inspiration to you, right? They're actually out there helping and serving people at the same uh, way, in the same level. So again, why not cheer them on? Why not like their posts? Why not comment on their posts? Why not learn from them? See what they're doing to see how you can better yourself in your coaching business. And again, if you can't do that, if that causes too much anxiety, if that causes way more just comparison and imposter syndrome, then eliminate the whole thing with that, okay? Don't sit there and follow your competitors and sit there and do that to you. Just cut it out, unfollow them, so where you're not thinking about that. The last part to overcome imposter syndrome and, and um, comparison syndrome is accountability and hiring mentors. Literally, this is gonna solve every problem because your uh, mentor is gonna sit there and put you in check and they're gonna be like, look, stop sitting there and doing the imperfect action. Stop sitting there thinking that the market is too saturated. Stop sitting there and focusing on your competitors. They will sit there and tell you that you cannot do that and you will not be able to do that because again, you're paying them for their expertise, their set of eyes, so you do not wanna let them down. So that's why accountability and mentorship is so important in your fitness coaching business because it's gonna sit there and take you to the next level and not let you sit there and fail and have more false and limiting beliefs. So. Um, Hopefully this was helpful. Again, if you need more help to sit there and get past this imposter syndrome and comparison syndrome, click the link below. Let's schedule your free blow up your fitness coaching business call with us. Literally, we'll have some fun with that. We'll ask some good questions, get to know you, see how we can help you, you know, break past all these limiting beliefs, and we'll go from there. I'm out of here, guys.